Okay, just to give you a heads up, this video includes some graphic pictures. Uh, it will not include any blood, but you can maybe see a little bit. But you can see some pictures of a surgery on my head, just so you know. Okay, so in this video, I will tell you about the scar on my head. So it all started in 2009. At this time, I was nine years old. I had a lot of headaches. Like most of the weeks when I went back home, I said to my mom, I have a headache. So uh, we went to the doctor and at the doctor, uh, they felt at my head and they said, yeah, not every kid has a flat skull, you know. So I had this lump right on my skull at the back. Uh, you could really feel it. Um, it was quite big actually. Uh, so I didn't trust it. So we went to the doctor again uh, for an x-ray this time. And after the x-ray, it took about a week. Uh, I had to go back to the hospital because they saw something that was not looking really good. I had a big tumor in my skull, at the back of my skull. Uh, it wasn't cancer, fortunately, but uh, it was a tumor. So in like a few weeks, I had to go to the hospital for a surgeon. At this surgeon, they removed like a little scoop of my skull um, so they could test the, the bone and they could see what the problem was. So in the first operation, they removed a part of, my, of the lump at my skull um, and they had to test it uh, to see what the problem was with the tumor. And in like a few weeks, I got the message that I had a special disease. Uh, it is called fibrous dysplia. And it means that your bones are really soft. Fortunately, I only have it in my skull, but I saw some patients there who had it in their whole body. And if you got it in your arms or your legs as well, uh, most of the times you end up in a wheelchair uh, you can't go to the gym because your bones will break like really quickly. Just lifting 10 kilograms can break your arm, literally. So I'm really happy that I only have it at my skull. But uh, they had to remove the whole skull at the back. Uh, the whole part where the, the tumor was and the disease was. In November 2009, I went uh, for the second operation. There they uh, put some pins right in my head here. Uh, so I was laying flat on my stomach with pins in my head. This is the scar. So they opened up my skin here. Uh, they removed the skull and they inserted a custom made titanium plate. So right now I have the titanium in my head and that's a little bit stronger than bones actually. So right now it's, it's protected and it's, it's really great. Okay, so this is the picture of the x-ray they took the first time uh, before I had my surgery. You can see at the back of my skull that there's a lot of uh, thick bone and that's, that's the disease. And after the surgery, I also took another x-ray. Okay, so in this picture, you can see the titanium custom plate uh, that went to in, into my head. I also got a picture of the skull they removed. It looks about the same, uh, but then it's like bony instead of titanium. Uh, but I won't show it here because I think it's a little bit too graphic for some people. Okay, so after the surgery, I, uh, I ended up at the intensive care. Uh, you can see me lying here. The only thing I remember is that I was sleeping a lot and that I was waiting for my mother the whole time. Um, obviously she was quite some time there, but I'm not sure how long, uh, but I kept asking for my mother, uh, and then I went back to sleep again, uh, because I had a lot of drugs in my system, I think. So after the intensive care, I went to the, to the usual, uh, beds in the area and I was there for about four days. I think I remember that I had a lot of pain in my neck because they they cut the, the neck muscles, they cut them all through uh, and connected them back to my skull again. So at this picture you can see I held my head up with my hand and I did it almost all the time because my head was really heavy, my muscles couldn't take it. So that's why I, hold, I held my neck just like this, just to keep it some safe. You can also see that my neck was really thick and swollen up. So after a few days, I went back home uh, just for the new year and I had this brace around my neck 
just to keep it strong and in the right position. Uh, to me, that was the most awful part of the whole surgery uh, because it felt really stuck. I was continuously moving like this. I, I had to eat like this. It, it was awful. It was awful. It was, I hated it. <laughs> but fortunately, after a few weeks, uh, I could take the brace off and just keep my head up again. And as far as I know, there are, there are not a lot of people with titanium in their head. I saw some pictures on the internet with people who had a 3D titanium printed skull-ish. But uh, not like the way I have it, I think. So that's quite unique. Okay, so luckily I made a good recovery. And right now I'm, I'm not having a lot of problems. Uh, the only thing I have is when there's a lot of cold wind outside. Uh, I really have to wear a hat or my hoodie or something on my ears to keep my head a little bit warmer. Uh, otherwise, I will have a lot of headaches. And if it's really hot outside, like 40 degrees Celsius, then and the sun is on my head the whole time, then I can also have a lot of headaches. So I just have to cool my head off in the summer and warm my head up in the winter. But that's it. So I'm really happy with that. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope you kind of like this video or thought it was interesting please give it a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel please subscribe to me so you can see more videos and if you got any questions just drop them in the comment section below and i will come back to you all right thank you for watching bye bye